y'all welcome back so I have another empties video um, and I'm ready to throw all this in the trash so I have like this little bin that I keep in my closet and it's full so it's mostly hair products because I got you know like when you buy crap on Amazon you really don't ever need um, so I bought a bunch of like funnels so I have like one of these big bottles that I just had empty so I cleaned it out and I pretty much like combined a lot of my hair products into that so we're gonna go through these it's gonna be a quick video because it's mostly big stuff but there is a couple um, other things mixed in there yeah we're gonna get started the first thing I have is this argon magic moisturizing conditioner I really Ooh, sorry um, I really like this but the pump stopped working on it probably like halfway so I tried to clean it out and add more conditioner into this bottle originally but then the pump stopped working but um, it's pretty good nothing to like write home about but um, I definitely think it's good as you guys know I have ridiculously long hair I don't use any heat on my hair at all. I don't blow dry my hair. I don't straighten my hair. I don't curl my hair. My hair is natural every day. So I pretty much just brush it. Um, a lot of times it looks like this. I am on day seven of work out of 10 days. So essentially I have to work, essentially I have to work one weekend like every other month. So I work a lot of days in a row. I know you don't care about that. Sorry, my phone just totally messed up. Um, anyway, so this is supposed to have argon oil in it. That's for your hair. Sorry, I just went off on a tangent and I don't remember where I was going with it. So, yeah, it, it was okay. Um, I actually bought the shampoo of this brand and again, they were just okay. I got this big ass bottle though. It was 32 fluid ounces for $10.99. So, I like getting big bottles of hair products from TJ Maxx because you get a really good deal on them. And then I got this Professional Hair Care Multi Oils Nurturing Conditioner. This one was only $9. Um, this one um, has argon, jojoba, coconut, and macadamia oil. And I thought it worked pretty well like I said nothing to write home about I wouldn't repurchase any of these just because I didn't see like a huge huge difference I know what I was going to my hair looks like this because at work I just when I'm having a rough week and I'm just want to throw my hair up but um I don't have a lot I I have a decent amount of damage probably like here down is pretty damaged um, just from dyeing it and I don't dye it super often but I also have not cut my hair since 2017 so every time I have a day off I'm like I don't want to drive to go get my hair done I don't have a hairdresser I don't know who's good and I'm cheap that's just the bottom line is I'm cheap and why is just a haircut for a woman like $50 so yeah i'm just cheap that's the moral of the story i have this garnier whole blends repairing conditioner now this one i really liked it's from the drugstore um i don't know i don't remember how much it costs but i think it worked really good for the drugstore and um i want to start investing more money into my hair but i'm cheap so <laughs> The struggle is real. I don't know, like makeup and like furniture and house stuff, I don't mind spending more money. But for some reason, my hair, I've, I haven't gotten to that point. Um, I'm going to do a Sephora haul soon, which I did get some new hair stuff or one new hair thing. Um, spoiler, spoiler alert. I got that Briogeo banana shampoo. Haven't started using it because I want to use up the stuff that I have, but I'm very excited about it. But it was a $28 bottle of shampoo. So what I think I'm gonna do is kind of wait for the next Sephora sale and maybe stock up on some shampoos. Okay, two more bath things and then 
we're done. But then we have actually a lot of stuff left in here still. So, okay. So I got the um, Suave Cocoa Butter and Shea Body Wash. I think these are totally worth, um, they're totally worth it. They're cheap, but they work really, really, really well. And I really like them. So I would definitely use them again. Then I have had this forever. And I don't know, like this kind of bottle, it's like really hard to pump stuff out of. Pump stuff out of. Squeeze stuff out of. This is the Keratin Brazilian Therapy Conditioner. I had a big and a small bottle of this that I just went through. Um, I think this is really, really good if you um, want a good sulfate-free conditioner and shampoo. Um, they're not like super expensive compared to some um, things. Like if I'm gonna spend, sorry dogs walking around. If I'm gonna spend a lot on a shampoo, it better be sulfate free. That's all I'm saying. Sulfates are so bad for your hair. And it's hard not to be cheap when it comes to shampoo and stuff like that. Um, but if you see how many sulfates are like in your regular shampoo, it's kind of crazy. So I like this for what it was. I don't like the packaging. It's really um, hard. Like essentially once you get like halfway through, it's almost impossible to squeeze it enough to get anything out. I've tried turning it upside down. It was a good product, but for the packaging, I wouldn't repurchase it. Okay, now we're gonna get into some makeup and skincare. So I'm gonna first start off with some setting sprays. So one of my goals this year, I told you guys, was to go through as many setting sprays as possible. And I've been doing a really good job, I think. I've been doing a really good job. So the first one I have is the Too Faced Hangover three in one. Now last year when I started my horrible spending habits with makeup, I just went crazy. If anybody recommend, like some, like the, my top three people that I like, if any of them recommended something or I knew a product was popular, I bought it. I bought it right away. And that's crazy talk. So I bought the Hangover Primer. I bought two of these. I don't know what I was thinking. The Taylor um, recommended this. Um, but then I ended up buying 10 bottles of the Catrice setting spray, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, so I had two, so I have my other bottle right here, which is essentially like really full. Um, but I had two half bottles, so I just combined them into one. So this is a really good setting spray. And if you really think about it, I'm gonna grab my Catrice. So my Catrice is 50 mil or 1.69 fluid ounces. This one is four. So this one I believe is $8. So if you double that, it's 14, um, maybe like a half. So that, what is that? Like 18. So yes, this is cheaper, but you're getting a lot more in here and you don't have to keep repurchasing it as often. And I feel like you can actually get everything out of here as opposed to the Catrice. You guys know like once you get to that point you're not getting that out and when you go through bottle after bottle after bottle that adds up so i like this for what it is i'm gonna stick with the catrice but yeah so i actually not including my backups i have seven setting sprays and i've gone through three so far this year so i'm super excited i'm actually almost done with my smash box and then a lot of my other ones are really low. There are certain ones I will not use for my face. I have transferred my Gerard Cosmetics one um, into this, but it is rose scented and I don't want any scented setting spray. And I just lied to you because one of the seven I counted was this one, but it's actually empty. This is the Pixie Milky Mist the best mister at the drugstore for sure. Um, but I'm actually saving this to put my Catrices because I essentially like cut them in half and then put them in this bottle. So that way I can get every last drop. Apparently I just have some empty ones over there. So in actuality, this one is empty. We're gonna count this as empty because I'm gonna end up just cutting that open and transferring. So 
Smashbox, prior water, so not worth the money. I would not recommend. So I actually have five setting sprays. So that's awesome. I'm really excited about that. But then I also have 10 backups of my Catrice. So I don't know how good that actually is. <laughs> and then the last one is the Morphe Continuous Mist. There is like nothing. <laughs> Like a little bit came out, but yeah, there's nothing left in here. Um, I gotta say, I like my combo. Um, my combo in the future is gonna be the All Nighter and the Catrice. I just think it's amazing. Um, it's just, it's just amazing. So I would not repurchase this. I know a lot of people love it. Um, I'm not sure if this one. I don't care. Um, I it's just not my favorite, but I know a lot of people love it. So if you love it, awesome but not me. Okay. First things first, I have a tiny beauty blender that has just met its match. Um, once your beauty blender start tearing, that's when bacteria really gets in. And unless you're cleaning your sponge after every use, which a lot of people don't, it's time to let it go. I liked it for when I had it, but okay to let it go. Um, I use up my Becca first light priming filter. Um, this was good. I really liked it. Um, I love my Bobbi Brown and I don't, I'm actually quite nervous because this is all I have left. <laughs> like we are scraping the sides at this point, but as a backup, I'm going to start using my Clinique Moisture, moisture Surge because I really like how light it feels. Um, Bobbi Brown is definitely a lot heavier, but yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this, but I did enjoy it while I had it. Um, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. CYO is getting discontinued. The whole company, not just the foundation, the whole company is going under. So I recently, I have four backups right now. I have seven that I just ordered. They're in my closet now because I want to keep them in a dark place so they stay good for as long as possible. And then probably i'm not even joking you in december because they're supposed to go out of business in february i'm going to order 20. i am because this is my favorite foundation nothing beats this um i want to order the soap and glory foundation that's supposed to be a dupe for this because apparently soap and glory owns them i'm not for sure about that but i have read that so i'm going to do a side by side comparison um, but I still want to buy tons of backups because Soap and Glory one is 16 and this one's only seven. So I want to stock up and Walgreens has pretty much been doing buy one, get one free on them for a while. So I definitely want to stock up. I have a Fenty gloss. Um, you guys, this seriously pisses me off so much. Look how much gloss is left in here and you literally cannot get to it look how much is left like so much i mean i could get another applicator or something or scrape it out with something but i don't want to do that this is this is my work gloss so i pretty much have either fenty glow which i've gone through before i just can't find so i never did an empties on it um i have another fussy at work that's about to be gone and this is my favorite lip gloss in the world. So I'm literally gonna buy like five of them during the next Sephora sale because this is my favorite work lip gloss. So when my lipstick fades away at work, that's what I do the rest of the day, just gloss it up. And this is the best gloss ever, 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 ever. So that's just the thing, like you can't use all that pro, like look, that's almost a quarter of the thing. So it really irritates me <laughs> if you can't tell. Um, the next thing I have is the Marc Jacobs Noir line, or liner um, mascara. This is super flaky on me. I know a lot of people love it, but not me. Too flaky. And then my Fit Me. I like this powder. I think it's really good. Um, I just, you guys, I don't use powder except to set my eyes. Um, if I want to blur like my cheeks, that's the only thing with powder is like right here. If I get into this area, this area down here, it looks cake like it looks cake. So what I do is I've been going in with my Charlotte Tilbury, which you guys know is in my project 
pan and I just go into that. Once that is out, I have other things to use. I have my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. That's about it, that's all I have. So once I'm out of those, but seriously, this powder is ginormous. It is 10 grams. So, I mean, it's gonna take me forever to go through this. I'm gonna go through the Charlotte Tilbury completely and then move on. And then by that time, if I need another powder, I have Hourglass and, or sorry, Hourglass and Pretty Vulgar. So I'm pretty much set for forever. So I'm not gonna need powder for a long time. But yeah, I went through this. Um, I combined whatever was left, which wasn't a lot with my Laura Mercier, which I can never tell how much is left in here because it doesn't look like a lot, but this powder like keeps going and going and going and going. So went through that. Then we have skincare. Um, I just kept one of these in here because I do these like once a week. I have so many hair masks um, from subscription boxes or whatever so that Garnier shampoo that I had it came with a shampoo a conditioner and some hair masks and I really like them I think they're really nice um the way I like to do hair masks is I'll get in the bath wet my hair not shampoo it and then I will take a brush um put the hair mask starting right here and start brushing my hair with the hair mask in and go from root to tip and then I will wrap my hair up. So I'll either do that at night and sleep in it, or I'll just do it all day and then wash my hair at night. It just depends. It's always on weekend that I do that because I don't want greasy hair, but um, that's like essentially like how I keep my hair healthy. Um, I do have some split ends and stuff, but a hair mask isn't gonna cure that. It needs to be cut, so. Oh my God, oh my God. I tried this mask last night and I had to take it off. It was burning. I haven't had a reaction yet. This brand is called Avatara. I don't even know what that is, but it says it's dermatologist tested, but it was awful, awful. So I used up my UFO clarifying oil. I will never ever be without this oil. This took me right at a year. Um, it's July, the end of July now. And I bought it last August, I believe. So probably 11 months this took me to go through and this is worth every penny. I definitely suggest getting this bottle. Um, it doesn't say how many ounces is in here, but it has to be significant because I bought the $45 one and I'm already halfway through it. And I'm like, it's only been, when was the Sephora sale? April? And it's July, so April, May, May. June, July, three months. So I was thinking it was gonna last me like six so I could make it to the sale in November, but yeah. Um, I used up my ceramic slip cleanser. This lasted forever. I literally thought I was never gonna be out of it. And now that I'm out of it, I'm like, I need a cleanser because all my samples are going out quick. So if you have a really good drugstore cleanser that you love, let me know down below. Um, I have dry skin, by the way. I just don't think cleansers are worth it to spend all the money. I think serums and um, oils and things like that are where I would rather spend my money. I also went through the cleanser by Physis, not Physicians Formula, um, First Aid Beauty. This is like their sensitive cleanser. I really, really enjoyed this, but I wouldn't repurchase just because I'm cheap. Then I got this in a Allure Beauty Box. This is the Mamonde um, Oil to Foam Cleanser. So I use this to take off my makeup. And I, I thought it was okay. I mean, it wasn't anything to like write home about, but I have a Bobbi Brown oil cleanser that I love. And then I have my Drunk Elephant to go through. So I'm good on oils for a while. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful product. This is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I use this like a hair mask and like pump. I don't know. I don't use this as a hair mask. So like I'll um, put, if I'm having a really rough week on my hair, I'll put this on right after my bath, brush it through just um, probably like here down and it worked really, really well. 
And we have one product left. And I have to rave about this product. So you always know I love skincare or anything really if I cut it in half to get every last drop. So this is the Skin Fix Eczema Hand Repair Cream. You guys, look at my hands. Look. My hands have not looked this way since before I had eczema. So I'm going to try like not to get emotional because talking about my eczema is very like emotional for me. If you have ever had eczema anywhere on your body, but specifically your hands, it is so embarrassing to shake people's hands, to have, I was at points where my hands were like busting with the blisters and bleeding because they were so dry and I didn't think that there was like an end in sight. I was so upset all the time about it. Um, I didn't show that a lot, but like my insurance wouldn't cover certain treatments that were supposed to help. And my hands aren't a hundred percent now, but this cream, I used it in a sample and three days later, like there's like some dry parts, like, but nothing like before. So that product, if you're struggling with hand eczema specifically, they have body eczema lotion and foot and other things, but hands is pretty common. So this is the Skin Fix Eczema Hand Cream. And this was like a point, not even a point park. It was like spend $25 and put in this code and you'll get this. And I was like, I'm going to read the reviews first. There is not one star below five stars. Everybody who uses this has given it really awesome reviews. You can get it at Sephora. Um, it, it, it's so good, you guys. Like, I'm never this passionate about products, but, like, this product works so well. And so if you're struggling with hand eczema, please go try that product. Go to Sephora and get a freaking sample. I don't know, even know if they sell it in the store. But if they do, go get a sample because, oh my God. It, after a year and a half of dealing with this, and some of you have been dealing with this for years and years and years, and I am so sorry because I know how much it sucks. Um, go try it. It's a really good product. It really is. So, yeah. I so appreciate you guys for watching. I think that's where we're going to end today. All that is all the empties. Sorry, I got... It's been an emotional ride. But, yeah, I so appreciate you guys for watching. Um, for those of you who are subscribed, thank you so much. You guys make me feel so good. So, yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you're having a blessed day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.